Controversial trial of a former high school football coach is expected to begin today. He is accused of reckless homicide in the death of one of his players. CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman is in Louisville, Kentucky with the latest. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Harry. It's an American first, this uh, high school football coach on trial for the death of one of his players in the summer heat. Jury selection begins uh, here in Louisville today, but also this case will be putting part of football's culture on trial whipping a team into shape. Outside Jason Stinson's home, dozens of his supporters rallied on the eve of the head coach's unprecedented trial. Across town at a local Sunday football game, teams competed, parents debated. Should a local coach go to prison for the death of one of his players? Football is a rough sport and coaches drive their kids hard. That lies fully in the coach's hands. There's not a lot of kids that are going to say, i got to stop right now and have a drink of water if the coach doesn't allow it. A year ago this month, sophomore Max Gilpin died from complications of heat stroke. He had run wind sprints until he dropped on a hot summer day. But Jeff Gilpin, the player's father, blames Coach Stinson for his 15-year-old's death. Because it was totally preventable and he was in charge. Stinson has denied being reckless. One thing people came to forget in this whole situation is, is I lost one of my boys out there that day. But even after Gilpin collapsed, witnesses say other players asked for water and Coach Stinson called them cowards. This is about an adult human being who had training, who was responsible for the health and welfare of a child. Stinson faces uh, two charges, reckless uh, homicide and wanton endangerment, potentially five years uh, behind pris in prison. Uh, his lawyers will argue that Max Gilpin's death was a terrible accident and nothing more. But across America, coaches and parents will be watching. Harry? You got that right. Mark Strassman live with us uh, from Louisville this morning. A lot of soul searching going on and a lot of people wondering just how this is going to turn out. Joining us now is one of Coach Stinson's friends, Rodney Dougherty. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Harry. How is uh, Coach Stinson feeling here on the eve of this trial? Well, obviously he's uh, nervous, uh, concerned, you know, being the first coach ever charged with something like this, but uh, his faith in Christ is going to carry him through. Mm -hmm. You're a good friend of his. What kind of soul searching has he gone through in this last year? Um, I, I really couldn't answer that, Harry. I, uh, that would be for Coach Stinson to answer. Right. From the standpoint of uh, so many people uh, observing this and saying, well, this was an accident that happened, uh, one of the things that I'm a little curious about is why you would withhold water from people on an athletic field. I mean, that's an old, I'm an old school guy. I played football through high school and college, and we were lucky to get ice chips when I was uh, playing football. And what the conventional, that was the conventional wisdom 40 years ago or 30 years ago. Everybody now knows that you've got to keep these kids hydrated. I guess I'm wondering why he would withhold uh, liquids on a, on, a, on a day when you're practicing in the 90 degree heat. Uh, water wasn't withheld, Harry. Uh, most of those boys had four to five water breaks that day. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a uh, misreport. Um, people who reported that were only there for a few minutes of the practice. Mm -hmm. Does he feel like, does the coach feel like he's being wrongly accused or uh, being made a, a, a scapegoat or, or, or a target? Oh, absolutely. Uh, this is this is Commonwealth versus football. This is no longer about a coach. They're 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 after the game of football at this point. And uh, in terms of the community, what 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 do you what is your sense of how the community is responding to this? Well, uh, there's been quite a bit of support for him. Uh, we've been able to raise about ninety thousand dollars to help him with his legal. Uh, expenses. When, when you hear that the community is divided, you assume that that's a 50-50 uh, division, but that's just not the case. Uh, uh, the majority that are behind uh, Stinson is, is much larger than that. Mm. Does Coach Stinson want to go back to coaching? Uh, he has said that uh, if he's acquitted, he does want to return to coaching. Mm. And this was a, a, his decision. He used to be a, in professional life and was not not in the school system. This is, he made a specific decision to become a coach. Is that not correct? 
That is correct, Harry. He uh, was working for Xerox and uh, felt that he had a calling from the Lord to go mentor young men, and that's uh, why he ended up coaching football and teaching. Hmm. Well, it'll be very interesting as this trial uh, plays out. We thank you, Rodney, very much for taking the time to speak with us today. I do appreciate it. Thank you, sir. All right.